hello there i have some messages for you this reading my voice may be low so just to warn you before you get started it may be low i can't be loud right now it's after 11 at night and um so that i'm going to do what i can do All right, so welcome and thank you for being here. This is Sage, Sensitive Healing Tarot. I'm going to be looking at some general messages. I've been penetrating this card here, the Five of Pentacles, a lot. Um, it's a lot of talking. Because we're going to do Divine Masculine and Feminine, right? So divine, divine feminine wants to separate, wants to move forward, or she is doing that. She aims to liberate herself, but she is tethered to an energy that does not share her vision. The energy in which feminine is or was attached to does not think that there is a way out. Okay? This energy to want to have divine feminine and himself lay in a cave and die and just say, Sweetheart, this is what there is. That's all that life is. We're just going to have to lay down and die. But divine feminine feels in her intuition that there is more and she keeps going forward. This thing, entity or person that is attached to divine feminine here is afraid of truth they don't want to face the truth they don't even want to see themselves it's almost it's, this could be family or friend because this is this person this divine masculine energy is attached to divine feminine to her emotions so she won't she's not ready to leave him behind even though she keeps moving forward, seeking liberation, he makes it harder for her. This divine masculine is the one that will want to distract. Divine feminine literally wants to tell her, hey, let's go watch a movie or hey, let's go take some shots at the bar or, you know, let's eat unhealthy food. You know, it's, it could be even an energy that divine feminine walks around with that keeps her from excelling excelling because this person that is tethered to her doesn't want to think forward this person is also our entity afraid of when um whenever the divine feminine speaks positive things or has a vision you know so if this is a this is a person in your life divine feminine if you talk about investment or building dreams or you know let's move forward what can we do how can we become greater together it's like this person doesn't want to hear you speak like that they put doubt in your mind and fear and maybe laugh at you because this person is fearful this person is so afraid look at how look at their face when you're passing this church they don't want to be exposed it's as if, if they should ever enter into a place of holiness with you, they are afraid that you would see who they truly are. And it's that they don't really find value in themselves. They don't feel valuable. They don't feel worthy. And they don't want you to see the truth. So they keep you from feeling good. And they don't want you to speak good or be liberated. Because then you're going to leave them behind. Like, how dare you, Divine Feminine, feel like, where do you get this power from that you want to be better? And I'm telling you that we should lay here and die and suffer. You know, like, this is the hand that we were dealt. This is how Divine Masculine feels, you know. And it's so funny because Divine Feminine is not leaving this one behind. She's not going to separate herself. That is why justice is here. Because it's like this is a movie. And this is being watched from afar by the justice energy. And the justice is seeing how unfair this fucking is. 
because divine feminine needs to ascend but this energy is pulling her back it's the energy of smeagol you know it's not it's kind of possessive you know like this person may think they own you but at the same time they they think so negatively you know what i mean they are they want to distract you because they are afraid of facing the truth they're afraid of stepping up to the plate of dreaming bigger this divine masculine i don't want to turn away the masculines that watch my video remember that um you do have femininity inside of you as well and there's a masculine aspect to all of us okay so for someone that is not thriving or you feel things is hard for you or you feel like there's an energy tethering you to the past addictions things that like you want to go so, i don't know it's just the energy of someone that wants to deliberately distract you every hour of the day because if you should ever spend time with yourself or get into your divinity or even start planning and dreaming bigger this person gets afraid they may just bum rush you with attention if you pick up a book to read that's that that is their energy they don't want you to liberate yourself they're afraid of that because then they are going to be exposed this divine masculine but justice is intervening here Okay, there's so much more I could say about this card between this masculine and feminine energy here. You know what I mean? But I feel like I got that. And the thing is about Divine Feminine, she's so beautiful. She keeps following her heart, her intuition, her roots. And she's the one that really can lead home lead home lead to home find a way to home because she is really still connected to her spirit you know this divine masculine just needs to get on board because he's dragging her back because of his own fear or fears he wouldn't mind if the, if she sits down and 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 uh, and just sits out here in the cold with him and feels sorry for herself like oh my god he wouldn't mind that she would start sitting and complaining with him you know he's probably upset at her for wanting to move forward and she's like he doesn't see what she's going after he can't feel it because he has lost connection with it that's why he's even scared of religion and positivity and light because he feels like he's lost his connection to his own divinity, to his feelings with God. He doesn't want to be found out. You know what I mean? He thinks of low vibrational things. He is distracted by sex and chippens. Like chippens. And I'm not even talking about a lot of money. Like chippens. He thinks that's okay. That's okay. You know, he doesn't mind living hand to mouth, so to speak, with the lesser energies. He doesn't really want to elevate. And but he's attached to your light, Divine Feminine, as he walks with you. You know. Mm -hmm. And his thing is, he knows about spirituality because that is why he's fearful when it is spoken. He knows more than you. He's intelligent. But he's so fucking afraid to be who he's meant to be. He's so cut off from his development that he's just, I can't even, I myself can't see him. Like, you know what I mean? So even though he's so smart and so powerful and he knows about the, the wisdom of even wealth and finances and god and spirituality he knows that he, he's he's not living he's just he's like he's done he's closed that book and he wants you to do the same and you may be the savior divine feminine or justice because as i say someone is watching this the divine and is not happy about what is going on here because you're being left out in the cold feminine to do this on your own and to take this masculine along with you as if what <laughs> um so something is coming you may meet up on someone <clears throat> okay 
it feels like this energy is going to shine a light that is going to separate you to <laughs> the judgment card authenticity and truth it shall be revealed you are going to see this person for who they truly are for the first time it's like your eyes are going to be open feminine and you'll be like wow that's what you really are because all along look you're focusing ahead you know this person doesn't want to be exposed they try to stay near to you but at the same time they're not encouraging and supporting you emotionally but like um if something goes down they like they try to speed up to get close to you so that they can pos feel possessive of you control your thoughts and your feelings so you don't get out of their control but they're going to be exposed justice judgment and you are going to see feminine this person for who they really are for who they truly is, are and then you're going to have a decision to make yep but you, the, the decision is not really left up to you it is up to the divine it is already made if this masculine shall be a part of your life or not you are feel you're going to stand alone with the page of swords you're going to stand alone fabulously you know because I feel you are afraid to let go for some reason. You're going to be successful at the end. I feel you're, you're reaching the top of this mountain. You know. You're getting there. See? You get to the top of the mountain. But I don't see the masculine with you. It's almost like you had to be gone with the wind fabulous to do this alone. I feel like you got the strength to do it alone when justice intervened. The law, or just the law of nature, the balance of life, spiritual laws, the law of the gods who may come in, the goddess of love maybe, or of fairness, of what is right. You will not allow this to continue. And so it intervenes and it's like this staff separated you to this light. And you, you and light, that is why this person is always afraid of you finding your divinity because they knew that you wouldn't want them if you did. It's not like you don't want them, you know, but that's what they think. They think if you come into contact, divine feminine, with your divinity that you're going to not need them anymore or to see them for who they are or just or see them as how they think of themselves as valueless because they want to stay around you and be possessive so that you think they have some type of value but really and truly what the fuck all they do is mutter and mumble and think backward and bring you down and distract you and talk about sex and eating and Kiki key, kiki key, kiki key, kiki key, about foolishness, and you have a vision. <clears throat> it's like this them person, you're them not ready yet for the war or for the healing, you know. So that is why the light has to separate. You know, it's like they want to be saved by your light and your effort as if, you know, um, I know this person going into the party. I, I, I know her too, but they didn't do any work to get in. They just want to tag along and feed off of your, your self, even though they weren't encouraging you, you know, they beat you down and break you down along the journey in hopes that you would give up. But when you get there... They hope to get there with you and they hope you will bring them through too. <clears throat> Anywho, so back to this light that shines through and cause the separation. And then you're going to see these people, for, this person, these people for who they truly are. You're going to stand up for yourself and you're going to be militant for what is right. 
with the swords, the justice energy, balance, the truth, you know, clarity, being focused and being strategic. Even as feminine. Because hmm. this light is hermit and this ultimate love vibration too, the seeking clarity. And this is going also going to a physician for clarity, for help, therapy. That's going to make you feel more powerful, you know, to face the truth of what is going on here. You know, why are you not yet liberated? And then we're coming into the star card, which is healing energy. Aquarius vibration, air energy, swiftness, balance, restoration for what was stolen and taken from you, your time, your freedom, your worth, something in your belly, like your solar plexus energy, your creativity, your true essence, your happiness, your joy, your prosperity, your peace of mind. And you fight for that. You fight for that. You want that. You wouldn't let anyone tell you you couldn't have that because you feel it in your belly. And so you kept heading to find this liberation. And you came for you. You, you got it. The star card is the outcome. The star card and the justice card is one. You are bringing this healing and restoration. You are bringing this justice forth. You are higher than you even know. Do you even know how powerful you connect to the divine as one divine feminine? You know what's going to happen? A balance. It's, and it's, I feel it is going to be beautiful at the end because, you know, it's, it, the outcome will be beautiful. It will be a balance between masculine and feminine. But I do feel like it is feminine's time for herself to be heard and expressed. It is her time to have a voice in this, this, that stage for feminine to be allowed into this space to help bring this healing. We know this. So masculines, any way you can, man, allow, allow feminine to be, to express all that she's been feeling, wanting, her visions, her intuition, you know, her her own hurt, her own sacrifices. Let her speak. The fuck. We're here together. We didn't come here for one gender to dominate, right? So there's a shift, masculine energy, king of wands, power, confidence. It feels like this is feminine sitting as masculine, but like, um, <laughs> yeah, it's literally like sitting in masculine's throne. And the world is changing. But it's not like she's taking his throne. It's that shift of power in position or position in power so that she can, uh, what is this? Allow her essence to be felt from here, from this place of confidence and power and wealth and well-being. So she can influence the world with her feelings of liberation and prosperity okay even for masculine the fear is change yeah the fear is definitely a change let's see what the outcome is 
Oh, that feels nice. It feels like reassurance for those that fear the change, the shift. It feels like reassurance because the water, 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 a star and the night of cups. <clears throat> it feels good. Like you're going to be met where you are. There's a change coming to the world. Mm -hmm. And it's coming swiftly. It's a rapid transformation. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be a slower pace. But you will find it's okay. You want this to masculine, you know. You want this feeling to be in a place of peace where you can sense, you can become present and aware of your environment, of who you are. It's really a beautiful feeling of restoration for all. No matter what role or gender. And justice calls it. This is divine justice for balance in the universe. Balance in the yin and yang of things. The ebb and the flow. Okay? The action and the spirit. The dominance, the force. And the flow. Okay? All right. And that's for the next transcendence. All right, much love to you, and I'll see you in the next reading. Thank you so much for being here. Hit like, share, comment, subscribe. If you find messages that inspire you and is able to help you on your journey, as always, I really do appreciate your show of support. I'll see you in the next one. Remember that you are all and all is within you. Take care.